Hello followers, hello everyone. The today's uh, video will be uh, the part one of the PMDG 737NG's FMC tutorials where I'm gonna discuss in detail the IRS alignment and all the purpose of these uh, tutorials is to make your experience with the FMCUs and programming more fun, more interesting and even more exciting. As a reminder, from startup to shutdown channel is all about flying with simulators. Please uh, consider to subscribe and like and share to support my tutorials. Without further delay, let's get started. Before I get to the IRS alignment uh, procedure, I wanna explain briefly what is the IRS alignment in a layman term without getting too technical. So the IRS alignment is simply the process that the inertial reference system or uh, IRS for short that uses to figure out uh, both the airplane attitude and position. During this uh, process the IRS uses the earth rotation and gravity. Gravity is used to determine the initial airplane attitude while the earth rotation is used to determine true north and airplane position. During the IRS alignment, the airplane must not move to ensure that the earth rotation is the only movement detected by the IRS sensors. This process can take 5 minutes up to 17 minutes dependent on the latitude at which the airplane is sitting. Let's see now how to perform an IRS alignment for the PMDG 737. Since the IRS requires a constant AC power source for their normal operation, first we need to have our electrical system established as you can see, uh, for instance, I'm using the APU. And the second thing we want to check before we initiate the IRS alignment is that the airplane is static or stationary. So the engines must be off and we can hold the aircraft ground position by applying the parking brake or the wheel chocks using the FS actions, as you can see here. Finally, we can start the IRS alignment by going to the aft portion of the overhead panel where the IRS mode selector unit is located. We move the two mode selectors from off directly to nav detent. The on DC lights illuminate for a short time while the IRSs do a DC power test. Then the extinguish. The align lights uh, illuminate uh, to indicate that the alignment process has started. Now, if we go to the inertial system display unit, commonly known as uh, ISDU, and we move the ISDU selector to status position, the display, as you can see here, is showing the time remaining to complete the alignment for instance it's eight minutes now to complete the IRS alignment uh, process we need to go to our FMC pause init page here as you can see and complete uh, some items starting with the ref airport uh, IQ identifier using my alpha numeric keys I enter CYQM my reference airport for today as you can see here in the scratch pad. Then I transfer this data to ref airport line select using my line select key. You notice this action retrieves automatically the published airport coordinates from my FMC database. And if we are sitting at the gate, we can enter the gate number here it's gonna retrieve the gate coordinates in the same manner as we did uh, with the ref airport. Now, so far, the IRS's computers are waiting for us to give them the current airplane position coordinates in order to complete the alignment. We have the last position coordinates and the airport coordinates that we can use, but uh, usually we prefer to use the most accurate one. The most accurate position normally you use is the GPS coordinates. 
the GPS coordinates can be found in the next page here and since I'm flying from the captain side I'll select the GPS left coordinates then I put this in set IRS pause boxes at this point uh, all we do is to wait for the IRS's alignment to complete now if you don't like to waste your time with the IRS alignment PMDG actually has a feature to make this alignment fast or even instant to do so go to the menu page then select PMDG setup options simulation then I select IRS options and this is the IRS uh, options page as you can see here my alignment time is set to realistic but you you can choose fast for 30 seconds or instant but keep in mind uh, we don't find these options in real world airplanes so uh, this is just the pmdg 737 feature let's now go back to our irs alignment and see the time remaining as you can see we have two minutes left when the IRS alignment is complete, the two align lights extinguish, accompanied with both the PFD and navigation displays, come to life. And this is how you complete the PMDG 737 NG's IRS alignment. Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial, part 2 of the PMDG 737 NG's FMC tutorials.